Yeah, I have a, a, a concern about my kid. Uh, it has been like almost three years. I noticed one of my kids kind of trying to take something who don't belong to him uh, from school, from uh, How Saturday old is he? school. How from, old is he? Uh, he's ten. Uh, he's ten. Okay. Uh, before that, I, I got Mukhtar. Before that, did he yeah. have this habit, or is it something new? We, I don't think so. He just said that from the Saturday school, from the Quran class, and he took the thing they asked him many times. He denied it, and those people didn't talk. Uh, was not kind with him when they complained about him, and I have to pull him out from the the, 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 the Saturday school. Then the next time is they are in the school and they have to call me. Your child takes something. He denied it. We have to insist until he yeah, Mukhtar. Take, he uh, tell the uh, truth. I, I got your question, Habib. I got your question. Calm yourself. You're not actually sitting with the school administrator. You're asking a question. First of all. When somebody faces a problem like that, you resort to Allah. You make dua, Oh Allah, guide my son. رَبَّنَا هَبْلَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِّيَّتِنَا قُرَّةَ أَعْيُنٍ وَجْعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ إِمَامًا Lots of dua, lots of supplications. Number two, you need to have a chat with your son. Friendly chat. Let's go out, we'll take a cup of coffee. You like donuts, you like ice cream, you like marble slab, you like whatever. Take a walk, say, Habibi, why do you take somebody else's pencil? a watch, a calculator, or a ruler. You like it, you come to me. I'll get you one. But would you like somebody to take something that belongs to you without your knowledge? So reason with him. I'm afraid that this is the age of going into puberty. So there are a lot of hormonal changes. A lot of things happen. Sometimes a child behaves very naughty. Sometimes very aggressive. Sometimes showing resentment. Somebody starts stealing. It's called stealing. Not because he wants it, but to grab the attention of others, to his cleverness. So the best person to speak to him will be you, even better than his mother. You and the mother, you need to have a chat as how to handle this. And be careful, beware, never, oh, never ever call him, you're a thief. It would leave a very bad impression and mark in his brains. Never. Never punish him physically. Rather reward him. And say, not for the sin, take him out and say anything you want. We'll work out together in order to get it for you. But don't take anything that belongs to others. And send him back to school. I'll tell you what you do. Send him with a bag full of candies, lollipop, chocolate, and so on. And say, I want you to distribute on your classmates. And on the teacher, take a gift. It will change his personality and he will feel superiority. A person who's given does not ever think about stealing from others. And say, every Saturday when you go, I'll give you something to give to your friends. So treat him and treat his weak points which is that he feels he's in need either to take something which does not belong to him for real or he wants to grab the attention of others that he's clever and he can do things in a subtle way. May Allah guide your son and do not stop him from going to Saturday school. It would actually have a very bad impact on him. So in the future, the my point to him is said, this is a thief whom the school fired him because, or the principal said, you don't come again because this and this and that. Immediately, next Saturday, he resumes sending him, send with him a big bag of chocolate, biscuits, uh, candy, lollipop, ask him to distribute. Okay? Barakallahu feek. May Allah bless you and your family.